next on Good Taste. It's just remarkable. Talk about love at first bite. It's, it's hard to describe. It's like you crave it. See how this little smokehouse is churning out some out of this world, incredibly good eats. It really is. Then we're on the hunt for the best comfort food. Plus, fresh off the farm, never tasted so good. Everything has been phenomenal. Very, very good. An all new episode of Good Taste starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. Say hello to San Antonio and the windy rooftop bar at the Fairmont Hotel. This town is famous for some of the best Tex-Mex cuisine on the planet. But now there's a little smokehouse on the south side putting out food so good, your taste buds will make you come and get it. And that's not blowing smoke. In Texas, barbecue is an art form. Some say the secret is in the smoke. Others think it's the sauce. But the real secret? It's the pit master. Right now we're cooking briskets. Oh yes you are. Look at that. And only a handful of hard-working pit masters have risen through the ranks to earn rave reviews like this. Best barbecue in San Antonio? Man, I would even venture to say in Texas. Some might even go farther than that. Hey, congrats on the James Beard nomination. Thank you so much. I didn't even think we were even being looked at. And inside this unassuming smokehouse on the outskirts of the Alamo City, two best friends are churning out some of the best barbecue in the nation. This is 2M Smokehouse. 2M is best known for its brisket, made with Akaushi beef. It's nothing short of perfection. It's the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. But the sides at 2M make everything sing. We do pickled cactus here, we do pickled bell peppers. Our macaroni is made with Oaxaca cheese, so it's white. We top it with uh, pork rinds on top. The Just chicharrones. Chicharroni macaroni, the chicharroni yes. macaroni. Yes. Move over, bacon mac and cheese. This Tex-Mex twist is anything but classic. Oaxaca cheese and black pepper bechamel bring the flavor. The chicharrones bring the crunch. You can't find that anywhere else. And the Mexican street corn is out of this world. Mm. That was pretty good. Topped with tagine and queso blanco, 2M takes this street food to the next level. That corn is thank you. worthy of one more bite. Thank, thank you, thank you. It really is, that is over the top. They call it barbecue con ganas, made with passion, patience, and endless determination. But to understand how Joe and Isaul got here, you have to go back to the beginning. So Isaul and I met back in high school, and we would talk about, oh, it'd be cool to have a steakhouse, it'd be cool to do this, cool to do that, cool to have a barbecue joint. After high school, Isaul honed his skills at La Barbecue in Austin. But it wasn't long before he called Joe to see if they could make that dream a reality. I mean, I know it was a tough decision, especially, you know, having a family, having a good job, and all that good stuff. And it's like, hey, leave that. <laughs> and let's try this out. Let's try a restaurant. We have no backups. <laughs> Some might say, and the rest is history. But there's so much more to the 2M story. It was intense. It was an intense first year. Yeah, I got a little wild there. So you guys slept here? We slept here. We lived here. We lived here for maybe about a year and a half. Yeah. Wow. But that risk reaped rewards. Since opening the doors just four years ago, 2M has carved out quite the reputation. I would try to get here early um, because you're going to wait in line. Everything is sliced to order and sold by the pound till it's gone like the popular Serrano pork and Oaxacan cheese sausage. It's hard to describe, it's like you crave it. So Isaiah, this is where all the magic happens. Yes. A lot of it. And this is the room you guys were sleeping in, right? Yes, we used to sleep right here, just right behind us where this refrigerator is. Uh, we used to have a cot right here and the mattress would be here. And this, this, this was home for a good while. Memories. Oh, memories. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey, brisket, sausage and ribs are available daily, but once a month, 2M smokes up something special, barbacoa. 
typically traditional barbacoa is made with lamb or goat um, or beef. Okay. So we're going to do it with pork chow today. Of course, because we do things a little differently here, and that's why Just it's a so little darn bit. good, yes. right? Yes, 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 yes. And it's super simple. Anybody can do it. It's one of the easiest things to make. Okay. All we use is salt. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place them in these banana leaves. Wrap it up. Just wrap it up. Traditional barbacoa is steamed overnight in an underground oven. But all you need at home is a smoker or an oven, a little bit of patience, and a whole lot of faith. And this is the meat that we get when it's all said and done. Wow. All that work to get down to that juicy little all that mound work. of goodness. Serves taco style. This Sunday special is cooked with love. Everybody who works here and prepares food here really, really cares. It's a, it's a family run business. The feeling of family is everywhere you look at 2M, even in their name. We just named it 2M. It stands for uh, Marcus and Melig, which is, which is our grandparents. It's Are they still here? No. 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 no well, no, they're no. watching now. It is nice that we were able to do this, and now we get to pay it back. Melig is based on honor Well, here's wishing you many, many, many <laughs> more years of success. Thank you, thank, thank, you. You, thank you. I'm coming to you from the Goya Kitchens in Houston, and our executive chef, Fernando Desa, is way back near New York City. Hey, Fernando. How are you, Tanji? I am fantastic, and we are making a delicious tinga de pollo taco, right? Yes, it's a delicious shredded chicken tacos, traditional from the region of Puebla in Mexico, that is rich, flavorful, and a little, a little spicy. I love that. Okay, so tell us what we do. To start, we're gonna mix together the Goya tomato sauce, some white vinegar, Goya means garlic. I love this stuff, it comes in a squeeze bottle, it is so easy to use. Chili powder, cumin and oregano, some sugar, and then to finish it up, we're gonna add some Goya adobo with pepper. I love this product. It's perfect to seasoning, to finishing recipes. We're gonna mix it in, and then we're gonna set it aside. Next, we're gonna get the chicken breast, then we're gonna sear the chicken. Okay, Fernando, so our chicken is beautifully browned on both sides. Perfect, now we're gonna add the reserved tomato sauce to the pan. We're gonna lower the heat to a low, and then we're gonna simmer it. So now we're gonna take the chicken breast, and we're gonna shred it, and then we're gonna put it back in, in the sauce, and you let it cook for around 10 minutes. So you want it to caramelize? and all the flavors to kind of start going into that chicken, right? So you got the tortillas already warmed up. On the middle of the tortilla, we're gonna put some of the shredded chicken. We are going to top these with my favorite salsa, which is the taquera, but you guys, Goya has some amazing salsitas as well. So it's kind of whatever you like. Okay, Fernando, these look amazing. Wish you were here. And I here. bet you they're gonna taste even better. Yes, and the fun thing about these tacos, you can make them your own, right? Put the kind of garnishes on it, the salsa, salsitas, whatever you like. I love it. We've got the recipe online. Miss you, Fernando. See you soon. See you next time. Still to come, fantastic food. So fresh, you won't believe where it came from. Oh, it's phenomenal. But first, craving some comfort food? It reminds me of my hometown. We've got a little slice of comfort coming up next. Cisco at the heart of food and service. Welcome back. When a meal wows our taste buds and serves up a sense of nostalgia, we take note. Let's face it, we can all use a little more comfort food these days. Lucky for us, there are plenty of places to find it in Texas. Slow down and take a break at the Buttermilk Cafe in New Braunfels. If it's comfort food you're craving, this is where you'll find it. It's just all really, really good, good food. Buttermilk Cafe is brimming with all the nostalgic flavors of home, but with a little pizzazz thrown in. It reminds me of my hometown. The dining room feels like home. How did you come upon the decision to do comfort food? I'm, I get hungry for it. Real food. Yeah, real food. Real food. You can't, you can't buy it in a box. Like this mouth-watering meatloaf made from beef and pork and topped with a sweet and chunky tomato peach sauce. The popular New Orleans-style coastal breakfast starts with fresh Gulf shrimp layered over grilled green chili cheese grits. 
topped with a poached brown egg. A creamy, luscious lobster sauce brings it all together. Simple and delicious. Homestyle eats from the friendly folks at Buttermilk Cafe. Load up your appetite. We're rolling over to Austin for an ooey gooey cheesy slice of heaven. Sink your teeth into warm, bubbly, cheesy goodness at Burrow Cheese Kitchen in Austin. They have the best grilled cheese in the city. Rock your world with mouth-watering melts like the coppola on crispy sourdough bread with creamy gouda, sweet basil, tomatoes, and almond pesto aioli. Or the Via 206, dripping with cheddar, gouda, and provolone, spiced up with a sweet and tangy balsamic fig. Any sort of cheese in Texas is amazing. Burrow's most popular grill, the Whalen and Willie, wails with a mountain of aged cheddar, gouda, caramelized onions, pepperoncinis, and spicy maple bacon sauce. All my favorite breakfast flavors rolled into one. Torched on top to melt it even more. Cheers. Cheers. That's a good grilled cheese. Next, we're making our way down to Houston for a taste of some of the best darn chicken fried steak in the state. Take a seat at Wheezy's table and savor some of the Bayou City's most beautiful and beloved comfort food. Oh, I love Wheezy's. The menu at this refined remake of a comfy Texas farmhouse has been wowing diners for more than 40 years with its upscale take on scrumptious Southern classics. I've been coming to Wheezy's since the early 1980s and loving it ever since. It's Southern comfort food all right, but reimagined Wheezy's way. Like Wheezy's famous hand-breaded chicken fried steak, voted best in the state a few years back with tender sirloin steak, quick fried golden brown, then doused with a silky shower of black pepper milk gravy. The rigatoni mac and cheese is the epitome of comfort food. Bathed in bubbling hot heavy cream sauce, mixed with aged white cheddar, Monterey Jack, and Parmesan cheese. We just keep coming back. Then it tastes really good. Here's to Wheezy. Cheers to Wheezy. Nice job. With all of us spending a little more time at home, we're running out of great ideas for sandwiches, right? We've got one for you today. Take a look at this. So delicious. So many layers of flavor. Lots going on in there. And the best part is the heavy lifting is done all for you. It's in one little bag. It's delicious. A great product. I'm with Claire Souls at John Souls Foods to show us how we do this, right? Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, the hard work is already done and it's just a few more ingredients. So today we'll be making the sweet and spicy open faced chicken club. It's really good. So basically you just start out with two toasted pieces of bread. Texas toast, always love that. I mean, you gotta sneak that in a little <laughs> bit. And then we're actually gonna start with a piece of pepper jack cheese. And then we're gonna put on some bacon jam. Starting to add a lot more flavor. And we just spread that across. All right, and after we add the bacon jam, we're gonna add some pieces of bacon that we pulled out of the oven, piece of bib lettuce, sliced tomato, and then lastly, we're gonna put on our sweet and spicy chicken. So easy, you can microwave this, you can pop it in the oven, right? Even your kids could do this. Oh, easily, my brothers can do it, anyone <laughs> can do it. And then lastly, we're gonna put on the sweet and spicy sauce, and we're done. That is so good. I love the little spice on top, but honestly, the chicken is good all by itself. There's a lot of spice in the chicken. And the spice is really what adds so much flavor to this, and it's not an overwhelming spice. It's good, it's good. There's a little hint of sweetness there. Thank you, Claire. We've got the recipe online. Up next, some perfect holiday wines in my wine finds. But first, we're taking good eats to new heights. See, one lick and you want it, right? You better believe it. So have a taste next. We'd love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds, and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all of our episodes right here. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. 
Good Taste with Tangie is brought to you in part by H-E-B. You hear the phrase farm to table all the time, but Field and Tides is taking farm to table to new heights in the heights of Houston. Oh, it's phenomenal. Fresh from the field, meaning you're getting locally sourced meats. See, one look and you want it, right? Produce straight from the family farm, just up the road in Round Top. The menu, great options, a mix of things. And the tide? Well, that's easy. Gulf Seafood is a staple on the menu. Everything has been phenomenal. Very, very good. Familiar names are fanning the flames of this farm to table spot's diverse menu. Well known chef Travis Lenning and restaurateur Chico Ramirez. You can come in here, you can get Southern, you can get Asian, you can get French, you can get uh, Mexican or Latin. Field and Tides sits in a cozy neighborhood cottage, a spot that feels like a cross between a chic mountain cabin and an East Coast bungalow. How about fantastic eats like the succulent pan seared scallops, served on a bed of creamy shrimp and crab risotto? made with butter and Parmesan, garnished with fresh herbs. Or this Texas quail, roasted then seared with seasonings, served over creamed Swiss chard, drizzled with a molasses glaze. Whatever you do, don't miss these, the pimento cheese fritters. They fly off the menu every night with pepper jack, cheddar, and cream cheese inside piled up on a puddle of red pepper jelly. Travis says it's the neighborhood family feel of the Heights that sold him on this location. I believe that the Heights is really one of the best neighborhoods in this city. And the people that live here really do support the businesses that are around here. And we wanted a neighborhood feel. We have the green space outside for kids to play, and that was one of the things that I wanted because I wanted to be able to spend some time with my kids when I'm up here. And I wanted food to be more affordable here in the Heights. You know, I wanted uh, I wanted people to be able to come to our restaurant and dine at our restaurant three or four times uh, in a month, and that's I believe that's what we've created with our menu at our price point. And you know, you're going to leave here full, and you're going to leave here satisfied. Mm. That's delicious. Satisfied for sure with a monster pork chop that'll have you seen double. We're gonna do our double cup pork chop. So yeah. first, we sous vide this for about four hours at 143 degrees. Sous vide means it's vacuum sealed and then cooked in a uh, thermal circulator, which is water. So we're That's gonna- That's a massive pork chop. And while, we, while we're searing that, we're gonna start with the Hoppin' John. He'll serve that with Hoppin' John. That's an Old South mixture of Carolina gold rice and Sea Island peas, sauteed with chicken stock, garlic, salt and pepper, and herbs. So I do an IPA uh, mustard here. A demi glace made of Creole mustard and beer, sauteed with bacon and onions. Oh, look at that. Mm, cheers. That's fantastic. I love your sauce. Field and Tides is taking fresh to a whole new level. Highly recommend it. Time for my wine finds, and I am revving up for the big holiday table. Starting today with the Martin Ray Chardonnay from the Sonoma Coast. Chard fans, you're gonna love this. The vineyards get lots of sunshine and heat during the day, and then they cool off dramatically at night. So you get plenty of fruit, like crisp pears, rich lemon curd, and bright acidity. Some smoky, toasty notes on the finish, too. The Martin Ray Sonoma Coast Chardonnay is only $13.98 a bottle. Next, this time of year, we have to talk Pinot Noir because they pair beautifully with so many different foods. I am loving the Stoller Pinot from Willamette in Oregon. Layers of flavor and bright acidity make this a great food wine. Willamette Pinots are some of my very favorites and I am loving the Stoller. It's priced at $18.98 a bottle. Up next, a red wine that pairs beautifully with meats of all kinds. This is the Damilano Marghe Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo is the noble grape of Piemonte in northern Italy, so think Barolo. 
You'll taste dark cherries, red plums, and hints of leather in this wine. Because of its bright acidity, it screams for a marbled ribeye, and it would be fantastic with spaghetti and meatballs. The Damilano Marge is $24.98 a bottle. As always, I found all my wines right here at HEB. When visiting Houston, the Good Taste team loves to stay at the beautiful Royal Sinesta, right in the heart of Uptown, conveniently located near the Galleria. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. We hope you're enjoying your favorite restaurants, and to help you do just that, we have a large list at goodtaste.tv with all of the dine-in options, patio, takeout, curbside, you name it. Also, let's get social. Follow us on Instagram at Good Taste TV, Facebook, and Twitter. And don't forget to get all of the delicious recipes you see each and every week right here. We have them online. Better yet, sign up for our newsletter, goodtaste.tv. Till next time, cheers to good taste. The pickle serranos, they are a little spicy. That was my next question. How much trouble am I gonna get into here? You look tough, I'm sure you're gonna be all right. Here we go. It's spicy, but it's good. Thank you. I'm losing my voice. Hold on. I'm gonna cool it down a little <laughs> so I can talk.